A long time ago, someone promised to this little key that when she will grow up, she will be able to become whatever she wanted. That someone is Hotel as a company and they have developed a system that allows a key to become whatever key they want. It is called the Hotel iKey Universal Smart Key. It is a system that reduces the stock needed for the guys that are doing professional key programming. And also it is a system that might be used by home users to program a different type of key to their vehicle and allow them to program keys at a more affordable price. Okay, recently I reviewed the KM100, which is the tool that should work with these keys and also should allow you to program the keys to the vehicle but I thought it useful to just focus on the quality of the keys to showcase what you are buying if you're buying in this type of key format and in this platform as, uh, as a key for your personal use or for professional use. These keys can be programmed to be whatever keys they want. Usually this device will ship with this boring format which still is good quality and should you opt for the more premium keys one of the keys that I was particularly interested in is this little key which mimics the BMW G keys and it is able to do it in such a way that you wouldn't be able to tell that it's not the original key. Buttons are properly clicky, the weight is the correct way. weight, it doesn't squeak when you have it in your hands. Even the small details, the materials are really solid, the materials are really nice. For this format you also receive the blade that you will need to cut somewhere. And in theory you could use this type of key not only on a BMW but to whatever vehicle this unit has it, has it in its memory. As a funny thing I've programmed this key to be for a Civic, for a Honda Civic, and in theory, I should be able to code it to the vehicle. That was the overview, vehicle coverage. In theory, these types of key will work very well with your Hondas, Nissans, Hyundais, Kias, Lexus, Japanese cars. They will not work that easily with the German cars. And this was a particular use scenario that I've identified. So for my case, for the BMW keys, these keys are able to be programmed on 315 and 435 megahertz um, as frequencies, but my car is working on 868, which makes this key not usable on my, on my vehicle. So sadly, I wasn't able to program a key from this platform to my vehicle but my vehicle is really old, so on the newer ones it should be working a little bit better. You usually are able to code these keys with the hotel hardware to your vehicle and it's quite an easy process, anybody can do it. This is why this platform, the KM100, is also accessible for people that want to get started and also for people that just need the key and they don't want to go to the dealership and pay crazy amount of money on their key. Let's discuss the quality. When you're buying the KM100 it will ship with two universal keys this format. I played around with them, looked at them, inspected them. Okay they have like a really nasty looking hotel sticker and I would advise you to use them without any sticker. But buttons, overall feel, function, so when I start to take the things apart for this one you will need to buy yourself an additional blade when you want to do the mechanical part of it. But I cannot flaw them. Solid product. This being the entry level key. For the more premium keys, the only thing if I really want to go crazy with my obsession for details is that for the unlock button it will hinge on this point so for it to click you need to press in that area it is a little bit harder to press just in the middle so if you're planning if or if your customer or you want to click in this area it doesn't allow you to hinge on that little bit but it will if you press it a few millimeters to one of the sides besides that a really 
nice looking, nice finished key. Cannot find anything wrong with it. No strange gaps, the correct weight and a nice clicky feel to it. If I'm comparing it with my normal key, side by side, my normal key looks old and falls short from a quality point of view by comparison with this one. So a pass on the quality side of things. Now, I hope that this video was useful. You might consider supporting the channel. Don't be a Grinch. Use the like button, subscribe. Maybe consider purchasing something with our links. A small commission will come back to us and we will be able to do these types of videos for future products and, and services. Also consider our Patreon account, a place where you will have members only videos, a place where we can give unbiased advice, a place where you can shape future videos to come to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.